you me. Don't touch 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 me. You better back the up. What are you going to do, dude? That's our breaking news tonight at 11 o'clock, getting our very first look at body cam video from an ugly incident at a local high school last year involving CCSD police. That video released just a couple of hours ago. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. The footage being released late this evening by CCSD depicting the moments before, during, and after that incident. 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer joining us now from the newsroom with what we're learning from this latest video release. The video is showing not only the moments before the altercation, but as you mentioned, a new angle of the incident and the school police officer explaining why he believed it happened to the student, characterizing it as a simple situation that became a scene for, as he said, no reason. You want to my attention, you got it, bud. Newly released Clark County School District police body camera video shows the moments leading up to an incident at Durango High School last February that was previously only caught on cell phone video by a student. The initial interaction evolving from a discussion between a CCSD PD Lieutenant Elfberg and a student accused of walking in the street to putting another student's phone down. Start walking. Then Elfberg telling students to continue to walk because they are, quote, blocking the sidewalk to immediately detaining a student that Elfberg said was not continuing to walk. What did I do? That leading to another student being detained for not walking as Lieutenant Elfberg had ordered in a moment we had only previously seen on cell phone video. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You better back the f up. What are you going to do, dude? Back the f up right now. Following that altercation, Elfberg explaining to the student in handcuffs why he was being detained. I can come and stop anybody I want. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Second of all, where did I stop you at? You hey, me over go. Go. Right there. Right there. And that's in the middle of the street. That's jaywalking. So that's an offense that I can put you in handcuffs for. And then when I tell you to come over here, I can talk to you. You start pulling away and getting froggy. It's on body. I don't give a sh what your excuse is. You don't get to do that, young man. Elfberg characterizing the situation as one that erupted from, as he said, a simple interaction. Do you understand how simple it could have been? Yes, sir. You, him, and all these other cool little fools are over here making all this scene for no reason. You understand? Now, we also saw parents reacting as the scene was unfolding, one woman pleading with officers for a student to be released, saying that he had done nothing wrong. There is a lot more from this video that we will get to you in our future coverage as this story continues. Reporting from the newsroom, James Schaefer, 8 News Now. The ACLU of Nevada releasing a statement shortly after that video was released, saying in part, it's shameful that it took nearly a year for our clients and our community to see transparency from CCSD and its police force. Meanwhile, the CCSD police union provided a statement prior to the release of the video saying, Elfberg, the officer involved here, brought that situation under control. He was very courteous and professional to both the students and a parent who attempted to get involved.